So Chris Christie is going to run for president now, which is great because the one thing the Republican presidential race needs is more candidates. It's starting to look like a frickin Avengers movie up in here. Ron DeSantis says he will destroy leftism if he's elected president, but he can't destroy leftism without rightism where the polls say he is way behind Trump. Ronnie, baby, the way to win with rightism is a big heaping pile of wrongism. Pay some hush money to a porn star, grope a staffer, start a riot and hand out classified documents as party favors. If you want to win, you've got to stop being the law and order guy and start being the unlawful disorderly conduct guy. Trump supporters say they've been scammed by Trump bucks. Here's how it all went down. A few companies that are all named something like Patriot Patriotism or some such nonsense said, hey, you can buy these Trump bucks and then you can exchange them for regular money at any bank you want. So basically people paid real money to buy fake money that they could later trade in for real money again. Only the fake money turned out to be worthless as fake money so often does. Guys, what you really want is Trump rubles, the only nanocurrency fully backed by the next Trump presidency or affiliated states. Just link your bank account now to our presidential brand servers and our helpful staff will do the rest. That's right, sign up for Trump rubles, send us your bank and credit card information, and before you know it, your small investment will be turned into a different, much larger wealth. Not necessarily for you though. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton got impeached. But why would his own party screw him over? Is he that bad? Yes. So to summarize, Ken Paxton cheated on his wife. He had his buddy hire his mistress to help keep things quiet, and the buddy decided to pay for Paxton's home renovations out of the goodness of his heart. Paxton then repaid his buddy by helping him do all kinds of unethical and illegal stuff. And then when his employees were like, hey, our boss Ken Paxton is like super corrupt, they got fired, which is definitely not legal. So they sued him and they won. And then Ken Paxton was like, hi taxpayers, could you take care of this one for me? I left my wallet at home. Thanks guys. And only then did his own party turn on him because if there's one thing they hate, it's a freeloader. So then when the impeachment was being voted on, Paxton started calling people and threatening them. Very ethical. His trial in the Texas Senate will be taking place at the end of August. And fun fact, his wife is one of the state senators. You know, the wife he cheated on, that's the one. She already voted to make him sleep on the couch for all eternity. Lawmakers in several states are pushing legislation that lets children as young as 14 work longer hours in hazardous occupations. The cream dream of abusive parents and Dickensian orphanages everywhere, these state laws are being created by legislatures that are typically only in session 60 days a year, sometimes only every other year. These legislators could be filling critical food service jobs at the Cheesecake Factory in between sessions, but nah, let's make the kiddos do it. You know. Maybe we should consider lowering the age requirement for state legislators because I know some 12 year olds that have a way better moral compass and they'll work for Pokemon cards. A GOP district chair in Georgia thinks that globes are a conspiracy and the earth is flat. All the globes everywhere. I turn on TV, there's globes in the background, there's globes on there right here. Like this would be a globe if I was a normal person. Like everywhere there's globes. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. My children will be like, Mama, globe, 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 globe. They're everywhere. And that's what they do to brainwash. And so for me, if it is not a conspiracy, if it is, you know, real, why are you pushing so hard? Everywhere I go, every store, you buy a globe. There's globes everywhere, every movie, every TV show, news media. Why? And you know what? She's right. For example, trees. Trees are literally everywhere. My backyard has like five different trees in it. Why is Big Arbor trying so hard to shove trees down our throats? They're brainwashing our children. My kids are like, Mom, I'm going to climb this tree. And I'm like, baby, that tree doesn't even exist. Chick-fil-A is apparently woke now. The company who says that their mission is to quote, glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted to us, made the mistake of hiring a VP of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Ugh. So basically they're having a Black Lives Matter rally next to every deep fryer, according to right-wingers online. So like, can you just call anything woke and get it canceled? Because that could actually be useful. Um, uh, okay guys, uh, Russia is woke. Uh, yeah, and so are tax cuts for billionaires. 
Uh, Fox News is woke. Tucker Carlson is woke. And not sending me $50 is very woke. So get to Venmoing before you turn socialist. IMDB is adjusting its calculations after a bunch of racist dickwads left bad reviews about the new Little Mermaid. So just to recap, people have decided to spend their precious time on this earth attacking a movie they've never seen because it went from cartoon whitefish to live action blackfish. God, if we could harvest white people's Disney related rage, we wouldn't need oil or solar. Rolling blackouts got you down? Don't worry, Disney's releasing a new Toy Story where Buzz Lightyear is Muslim. We'll have those lights back on in a jiffy. And finally tonight, how are things going in the world of AI? Well, the people who make it have signed a letter saying it might lead to our extinction and we should maybe do something about that. <laughs> That's cute. Like we're a species that tries to avoid our own extinction. I've seen lemmings more cautious than us. That wraps up this week's episode. We'll be back to our regular schedule next week, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah,